Hey YouTube, Kira Tweak here, bringing you all another Yu-Gi-Oh! random booster pack opening. Got 10 packs to open for you all today. Got a good amount of grand creators mixed in. These were actually a gift from uh, my girlfriend Marissa, so big thanks for that. Uh, to add in with the random packs I won from the last uh, locals I topped, some Brothers of Legend and some Synchro Storm, along with the uh, Tournament Pack 17 that was part of the prize. Very excited to see if we can pull something lucky with that. I believe Infinite Impermanence is still Still the most expensive card from that set but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in we got 10 packs to open so like i said hopefully we pull some pretty good cards so we'll start off with the grand creators we got half of the cards being grand creators so we have oh <laughs> from the first one and those of you who don't know with the grand creators pack if you pull four rares like this it means this card is going to be an ultra rare and it is no punk foxy tune all right so the odds of pulling an ultra rare from a couple random packs i'd say are pretty low because of the fact that you only get like three ultra rares in a box so this is a pretty good pull and ultra rares and ultra rare from these more difficult sets to get then we have a solemn strike which is always nice as well and an insector hopper all right even more exciting set to potentially pull something from is brothers of legend so let's see we have a summon storm left hand shark appliance or conversion starlight road and we have up oh, it's a fusion and oh nope it's a i saw the fire so i couldn't remember if it was the centaur mina or you know infernoid tiara sadly no red eyes dark dragoon or malicious bane red eyes dark dragoon would be all sparkly though but on to the next pack. Another Grand Creators. We already pulled the Ultra, so... Unless, you know, the packs were shuffled. Or, let's see. First rare, second rare. And, yep, the Super will take up the second spot, which is uh, Madame Spider for the Punk deck. And then any other notable rares? Looks like they're all new ones for the decks from the set. And on to Synchro Storm. Now, I pulled the Ghost Rare from this set. I have a, what is it? Uh, man, I can't remember the card now, but let's open this pack. Maybe I'll get a, a memory boost there. Lyra Lusk, uh, Bird Sanctuary, Baron de Fleur, that's the name. I uh, haven't pulled one yet, so I was going to test my luck. But we did pull a Hollow, uh, Bird Sanctuary for Lyra Lusk. I don't think it's really used much in the Tri Brigade, Lyra Lusks. But fifth pack, another Grand Creator. I think it's going to take a good majority of the opening up. But we have Ties of the Brethren. Uh, Goku Pole, and oh my goodness, I thought it was gonna be Madame Spider again or Madame Spider uh, for the super rare. We get any E-Tellies, any Psalm Strikes? Nope, just looks like uh, Insect Invitation, which I can't remember if this has ever even been reprinted. Pharaoh's Servant, I think it came out. All right, Brothers of Legend. Can we top an Infernoid Star? I believe I pulled Malicious Bane from my last random back opening. So I might still have all my luck used up from that one. We have a Curry Bear. Always nice to pull the Karibo Brothers. Ice Knight. Appliance or Propel Lion. And we have a Double Exposure. I do want to work on a Cypher Galaxy Eyes deck. A lot of people have been requesting it also. It's an interesting deck. And we did get a good number of support for the deck, including a couple monsters, I think, in these packs all right i think i've used up all my ultra rare luck for the uh set but we have Danelle, the noble arms of light insector sword zect caliber yep we have a wandering griffin rider for our super rare insector hornet and any other nope i believe uh nothing else notable from that one but we got three packs left one more grand creator so one more shot at an ultra rare I pulled one. I would have been sad if I got all supers, but let's see how this Synchro Storm the luck favors. We have Den Den, Daiko Duke, Double Yo-Yo, Chanbara, and sadly just a rare from this one, and it is a Totem Bird. And don't forget we also have the OTS, so hopefully we'll pull something pretty good from that. All right. So we have a Punk Rising Carp. An Zector Ladybug. Uh, no, we pulled another super. It is Exosister Jabrine for that spot. So sadly, we pulled the Ultra first. Torrential Tribute's always a nice one, though, from that. All right, so I think the best uh, super we could potentially pull from this would be one of the 10 E ones. So let's see how our luck favors. We have, all right, Junk Synchron for a common. 
uh, Zekker Dragonfly, very, very fitting with the Grand Creators because this was a super in that set. And our foil is a Great Emperor Penguin. So those of you that are fans for the Penguin deck, this is always a nice touch. I think they gave us the Synchro in this set also, but I uh, can't always be extremely lucky like the last random pack opening, but I thought it was pretty awesome getting the ultra rare Foxy Tune uh, for sure, right from the beginning. And I'll definitely be doing some more, uh, you know, random pack openings. The more packs I can gather up to open, I definitely like saving them for these videos even if they're short videos like this always fun to share because you never know what you're going to pull and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out